How is it going, everybody? Rudlinell here. We've got a bit more Python code for you, jumping back into the Pi game series that we just got started. And uh, now we're going to be looking at some cool functions that we can use in the pygame.display function, or at least kind of that portion of the library in the module, that allow us to have a bit more functionality with this window that we just created. It's really, really simple, just a big black box, and that's just simply our window. <laughs> But we might be able to do more with it. Like, we've got a default title here, pygame.window, and uh, maybe we can do more with this. Let's check it out in the documentation. Keep in mind, it's pygame.org. Um, right over on the left-hand side of the window of the screen, you can see there's a documentation link. And then, at the top here, click on Display, and that'll get you to this portion of the library. You can see display.setMode is what we just used. Initialize a window or screen for display. So let's check that out. The resolution, or the size, is what we've already supplied in the program. Window size. Uh, by default, it's 0, 0. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy. And you can see there are also some other arguments, like flags and, and depth. I'm not going to be getting into depth, but we are, however, going to be taking a look at the flags. The arguments passed in this are requests for a dis certain display type. The actual created display will be the best possible match supported by the system. So this is all in accordance with your computer and what it's really doing. Blah, blah, blah. Resolution talks about the width and height, the size that we just created. Flags argument uh, is, represents a collection of additional options. Depth argument represents the number of bits to use for color. Huh. Pretty cool. Maybe we'll have to mess with that later. It's usually not best... It is usually best not to pass the depth argument. <laughs> Maybe we won't play with it later. Whatever. <laughs> Alright. Let's check it out. All of these flags that we can pass to it. The flags argument control which type of display you want. There are several to choose from, and you can even combine multiple types using the bitwise or operator, the pipe character. Okay. Default, uh, this is optional. I mean, flags can equal zero. All these other things that Pygame makes available for us are just simply options. So let's check it out. Uh, if I just run this program the way it is right now, you can see we've got kind of this frame and this border up top, Pygame window over here, and the actual minus and close buttons. What if we were to use that Pygame no frame option? The display window will have no border or controls. Okay, so we use a comma to separate the argument, and then we can say Pygame dot no frame. That's what I want. No frame. Okay, run this code. Pygame's a little slow to start up, I know, but right now, it's just a black box. We don't have the border or any of the controls. Um, I'm going to hit Alt-Space and, and C, or Alt-F4 to close out this program. That's probably the best way to do it. And uh, let's make that resizable. Remember, it said we can use the pipe character to actually go ahead and use multiple flags. So, resizable. Run this code just to see how it looks. Same black box, but now I can use Alt space R to resize, or Alt F8, and I can resize the black box anything I want. <laughs> Pretty nifty. All right, close out of this. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, full screen, that might be helpful when you're actually making games. Right now we're still just testing and playing around. Um, OpenGL, Wow, you could use OpenGL for a renderable display in here. You've got plenty of options, and that's why I want to show you this documentation. You can see really what you can do with it. For now, we can just play with resizable and no frame. I'm actually not going to use no frame. <laughs> I do want to keep that border, but resizable is good to have. We'll keep that in. And let's see what else we can do with the window. Let's see up top here. Let's look through some of these things. Oh, you get window managing uh, info, get information about the current windowing system. That would probably be a good one if you're trying to know more about the system that you're running on. Get active. Toggle full screen, that's good. Set caption and get caption. Alright, those we can play with. Let's check it out. If we were to print pygame.display.get caption. Keep in mind, just using dots, just using the display submodule. If we run this, Pygame window shows up down here in our display. Pygame window and Pygame. Wow, okay, so it offered up a tuple of strings, or a tuple, sorry, <laughs> not just not just one string. And let's check out why it does that. If you click on the link at the top, it'll kind of bring you down to the anchor in the page that shows you right where it is in the page. And it gets the current window caption. It looks like it returns two things in, in a tuple, just like it said. Returns a title and icon title for the display surface. These will often be the same value. Well, Right now, ours isn't, Pygame window and Pygame. But, 
we can, of course, look at this set caption. And, of course, set the title. Let's try that. Display dot set caption. This takes one string as an argument, and let's let's be kind of cheesy here <laughs> and run this code. All right, cool. Now we got subscribe. That works here, and of course it's still going to give us Pi Game Window because the display get caption runs before. What if we went ahead and ran this after we set the caption? Obviously, or at least hopefully, it'll say subscribe and subscribe. Sweet, sweet. And now, now actually, the icon title and the title are the same value, just like we kind of expected it to be in the documentation. Okay, cool. Very cool. That's all I wanted to show you for this video. Really kind of small, really kind of simple functions that allows you just to do a little bit more with your window. And you can personalize it with a title and a caption to be whatever you want. And that might be helpful when you're actually working in your game. Okay. Uh -huh. We're all good, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.